All new for you this morning, weddings mean big business. Over the past year and a half, celebrations have stalled as the country grappled with the COVID-19 pandemic. As things return to normal, brides, grooms, and wedding vendors are working to once again get those celebrations booked. We did see a new wedding trend over the past year, scaled down celebrations. You can see that reflected in the numbers. In 2019, the average wedding in the U.S. cost $28,000. In 2020, that number dropped to 19,000. Well, now things are back on the upswing, and it means engaged couples need to get moving when it comes to locking down venues and vendors. The day many brides and grooms have been waiting and waiting for is finally approaching. Many of them, this is their third attempt at getting married, two different postponements. It's safe to say it hasn't been easy for couples to plan a wedding in the middle of a pandemic. I watched them go through hell, to be honest. It was a nightmare to plan a wedding over the past couple of years. Now, local vendors say things are changing. The wedding industry once again booming in Western New York. I just started getting flooded with inquiries. Colin Gordon is a photographer who shoots about 25 weddings each year. He says his phone has been ringing off the hook. I am almost fully booked for 2022, which usually doesn't happen until January of 2022 or February of 2022. Wedding planner Dalton Van Curen seeing much of the same. Now, if I'm a bride and I just got engaged and I want to start planning my wedding, what would you suggest if you're thinking about getting married, let's say next year, for example? You got to start now. Actually, you probably needed to start yesterday. <laughs> Clearly, early planning is key as we move into 2021, but there are some other changes vendors are seeing, and it starts with size. I think people are scaling down. They're saying, OK, I just want my most important people there. But scaling down the size doesn't necessarily mean scaling down the cost. If you scale down from 300 people to now you're only having 100 people or you're having 50 people, you can do more with your money at that point if you still want to be spending a similar amount. Of That's something Maureen Bartley, who owns Maureen's Buffalo Wholesale Florist, says she's seeing as brides request larger and more elaborate arrangements. More flowers than I've ever seen a bride want. I think part of it is because they've had so much time to look on Pinterest and their ideas are just growing and growing as they wait and wait and wait for their wedding date. According to The Knot, brides and grooms spent $19,000 on their wedding reception and ceremony in 2020. In 2021, the anticipated cost of just a reception is $22,500. So the bottom line, if you're a bride, know your guest list, know what you want. Eucalyptus, this is the number one item that 90% brides want. And make those calls sooner rather than later. I want all newly engaged couples to book their vendors as soon as possible because the wedding boom is very real and your favorite vendor is getting inquiries all the time. So important to note, those vendors you need to be calling first are the ones who are the most limited. For example, a photographer, they can only do one wedding a day. Some vendors are not opening up their calendars for 2022 quite yet. Don't let that worry you. They're so busy right now in the fall wedding period, many of them just working through this time, and they say they plan to open up dates once the fall is over. It's such a popular time now to get married. That was a great flower bouquet catch. It's like you've practiced that. The person who tossed it to me did a great job. Up high. Up high. We only had to do it like 400 times. <laughs> but listen, I mean, you're right, though. Those wedding venues and the photographers, the flowers, everything. Right. You've just got to book early and get it all set. Right, right. So and like a florist, they can take a, they can do a number of weddings in a weekend, mm -hmm. right? But only photographer can only do one a day, really. So just keep it in mind. Keep it in mind, brides. Get moving.